once you have your Google Ads campaign set up and it's running, the next important step is that you need to be optimizing your campaign in the right way. Now, if you've watched any of my videos right here on YouTube, you know that I'm regularly giving you access to my Google Ads optimization checklist. And I actually put it together when I was consulting to some different digital agencies. And the reason why I put it together is because I wanted to have a really simple framework and list to show people how they can optimize their Google Ads campaigns. And the other reason for why I did that is as well is so that you know exactly where you are in the optimization process at any given time. Because the worst possible thing that you can do with a Google Ads campaign is to go into Google Ads and hmm. to not know what you're doing. Because success with Google Ads is done through two core elements. We do know that Google has their algorithm and they're analyzing different data with your optimizations. Now, if you continue to optimize your account and over-optimize your Google Ads account, you're not giving the Google Ads learning enough time to get the best results. And this is where this checklist becomes really, really important because we don't only take you through the different optimization actions that you need to complete, but it also shows you how often you need to review those individual actions. I can't tell you the amount of times that when I've gone through and reviewed an account and people are just saying, we're just not getting any results. And when I go through and look at their change history, some of the worst cases I see is where people have been changing their bidding strategy, You know every single day for a period of 14 days. Just some simple actions like that can make sure that you are never able to see really good results with Google Ads because the process of optimizing a Google Ads account is that you review the data, you then make the correct optimization actions from that data, and then you allow another range of time, so another period of time so you can collect further data. So what I wanna do here is I wanna take you through my Google Ads optimization checklist so that I can show you how to really use it for your own Google Ads campaign. And the reason for why I'm recording this video is because I've received a lot of comments and email requests for me to release a video like this. So for those who requested this video, I hope you enjoy. Now, just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young, I'm from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And if you'd like to get access to this Google Ads checklist so you can use it in your own campaigns, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. So right now, let's jump into a screen share so I can show you the optimization checklist and how to use it correctly for your Google Ads campaigns. So once you've got my Google Ads checklist, this is what it looks like. Now, if you wanna go through and edit this for yourself, you do need to go up here to file and you need to go to make a copy. That'll then duplicate it so you can go through and edit your own checklist. Now, I do just wanna make some points on here. The way that we've designed this is you can see through here, we've got our core areas. So we've got our keywords, we've got the actions we need to do for our ads. We then got our quality score reviews. We then got our bid optimizations, our conversion action checks, our location targeting, campaign goals, and then some quality control checks like your budget pacing and also your payments in your accounts. And then finally, there's the recommendations tabs. Now, now that's the first area that you need to look at, but what you also need to look at is, I've also added in here how often you need to review these. So things like your search term audits or your keyword search review, you're reviewing that every 72 hours. Whereas where we come to things down like your bid optimizations, that's not happening until every three months or every 90 days. So what you can also do through here as well is that the way that this has been designed is that what I recommend is that you duplicate this for every single month. So what you do through here is you go duplicate, then what I do is that I'll generally write the month. So let's go August 23, and then you can write the client name. And the benefit of this is, is that you can then go through and write these actual notes in here. So let's just say we went through and reviewed our bid optimizations, and we did that on the 7th of August. And then we can write down what changes we made. When we go through and duplicate this for September, we know that we complete this task on the 7th of August. So we don't need to go through and review it again in September. What we can also then do as well is that this becomes a great sheet, especially if you've got to do some client reporting because when you go through and complete your optimizations through the month, at the end of the month, you've already got a detailed list of notes. So you can write in here that you've added in on the 7th of August, we added 10 negative keywords. And then you could come through if you check it again, seven days from now, so the 14th of August, you could then write once again, the amount of negative keywords that you added. So this is a really systematic way of you being able to make sure that you keep a track of the things that you have completed in every single month and the extra actions that you need to complete. The other benefit 
snippet of this checklist is that especially if you work within a digital agency and you need to pass on your account to another member on your team, if you've been running this for you know six or seven months, you've got a data of six or seven months of all the optimizations that you have made on this individual account. So it makes it much easier to do the handover process. So what I want to do through here, and I just want to update this because there has been some changes into the way that the Google Ads dashboard looks, is I'm going to take you through a couple of these steps. So firstly, when it comes to a search term audit. So for our search term audits, we now want to be going up into insights and reports. And then when we're in insights and reports, we go into search terms. So previously, you would see this data underneath your keywords. And what I want to point out is that the search keywords are the actual keywords that you're targeting versus the search terms, which are the actual search terms that a user used that triggered your ad. And what you're doing through here, as you can see through here, we've gone through and we've added in some different uh, search terms. The reason why we've been excluding these ones is because these are for other brands. We're running a different competitor campaign, so we didn't want them to appear in this campaign. So you can see we've gone through every week and we've added in those extra negative keywords. But what we've also done is that if we see any keywords which are really relevant for us, we've actually gone through and added them as a keyword to target. So the way that you do this is that when you select a keyword, so let's just say this one, we don't want to include it, we would go through and we would click add it as a negative keyword versus these ones which we do want to include, we click on it and then we add that as a keyword. So that's how you go through and complete your keyword search term review. For Now let's go down and have a look at, say for example, when you're doing your quality score review. What you need to do here is that you want to be going through to your search keywords. And if you don't see your quality score in here, what you need to do is you need to go to columns and then you can just type quality and then you can select quality score. Now I've already got it in here, so I don't need to apply it, but you would click apply and then you're seeing this quality score. Now, what we're wanting to do here is we're wanting to make sure that we've got a quality score of at least above five out of 10. As you can see through here, we've only got one keyword which has a quality score out of five out of 10. Now, what I do through here is I do do a couple of things is I firstly make sure and have a look just to see, is this where our main conversions are coming from? And you can see it's not, they're more coming from this keyword up here. Also go through and have a look at the traffic. So what I would do with this is that we probably do need to increase this a little bit further. So the way that we would do that is that we need to go through and review our ads and that is actually under campaigns. And then when you're in campaigns, you go into your ads. Now, the best way to do this is to do this via an individual ad group, which we're in right now. And what we need to do through here is we need to go through and just check to see, does that ad copy contain that keyword? And if it doesn't, we can then go through, edit this ad and add in the extra keyword targeting. And then when you've done those changes, what I also always do in there is that we go through, we write down the date, so let's just say the 7th of August, and then we write made updates to one times add. And then we can add in some extra data in there so that we know the exact changes we have made. And then when it comes to things like your bid optimizations, what you're doing in here is that you're going into your audiences. So with your bid optimizations, there's two main things that we're looking at. So firstly, you need to make sure that in your actual campaign, if you go into your settings in here, what you wanna be looking at, now you can see through here that I'm actually running a target CPA. So I don't need to go through and look at my audience bidding because Google will do that automatically. But what I do need to do is I need to go through and review my bidding strategy. Now, when you go through and review your bidding strategy, I do like to go through and have a look at a longer date range. So what you wanna be going through here is that we can see that our bidding strategy is at a target CPA $30. What you wanna be looking at is that you wanna be looking at in here is what's been your cost per conversion. And we can see that our cost per conversion at 26 with our CPA of 30, that's fitting in quite nicely. So if that was too high or if that was too low, we would then make that change and review that. But remembering, especially with bidding strategies, you don't wanna be changing these every week. This is something you review every 90 days or at a bare minimum every 60 days. So that's how you can use my Google Ads optimization checklist so that you can get the best results with your Google Ads campaigns. Now remember, if you don't have access to my Google Ads optimization checklist, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. Once again, thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young. I'm from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. Now at the end of that video, when I was showing you through how to use my optimization checklist, we started talking about bidding strategies. Now because bidding strategies are quite a complicated topic, if you wanna learn more about how to best use, review and optimize your bidding strategies, I want you to go through, which is this video right here. Once again, thank you for joining me. See you next time.